One question I often get from my students is how to clean the trumpet, especially if they've recently purchased a brand new trumpet and want to keep it in good working condition. Now I realize that most students, as well as many of us, have a very fixed budget, so the more economical we can do things, that's the option we're going to choose. So let's talk today about an economical way and eco-friendly way to clean your trumpet. So we're first going to use lemon juice as our main cleaning component or chemical. Now if you were to go to the music store and do a chem clean or an ultrasonic clean, that could run you anywhere from $60 to $100. But this type of uh, home chem clean with lemon juice will only cost us maybe $20, $30 of the price of buying the lemon juice. So let's take a look at some pictures and I'll walk you through the process. First we need to take a look at the materials that we're going to use for this cleaning. You can see here on the left we have several bottles of lemon juice. That'll be our main cleaning agent. Next to the lemon juice is a small glass. We'll put the valves in there to clean them. Behind the glass is some dish soap. In front of the dish soap is some rotor oil. And then next to that is valve oil. In front of the valve oil is some slide grease. Next to those is some brass polish. And then all the way to the right there is some silver polish. In front of the polish is the long snake. And we use that to clean all the tubing on the trumpet. And then inside that snake there is a mouthpiece brush. And I encourage you to use that mouthpiece brush probably about once every two weeks or so to keep that mouthpiece clean. And then in front of the snake is just a typical white cloth. I think that's just a, a t-shirt sleeve that's been torn off. And then a cleaning rod. The only other supply we need is a tub to put the trumpet in to soak. As you can see here, I have a plastic filing cabinet that would just barely fit the trumpet. Of course, the larger the tub you have, the more lemon juice you need to purchase to fill that tub. So find a tub that is small enough that will just barely fit the trumpet inside. Now let's take a look at my trumpet before the cleaning. This is a Yamaha Zeno trumpet that I've had for about 10 years. And about once every year, I do this full clean on it. And as we look a little bit closer, you can see some tarnish and some buildup that has accumulated over the last year. And especially down here, down the lead pipe, you can see some dirt and grime that has formed on that lead pipe. So we want to be sure to clean that out very thoroughly. The first step is to completely disassemble the trumpet. All of the parts here are laid out. And be sure to keep track of all the small parts too. Those can sometimes be easily lost through this process. And here's a close-up of just the valves. We'll take those three valves and place them in a glass and fill that glass half full of lemon juice. You can see here that I have three other valves. Those are to my C trumpet that I cleaned at the same time. We only need to clean the bottom half of the valve because that's the only portion that really comes in contact with the valve casing. So we'll, let, we'll set those aside and let them soak for the duration of this process. A note about the top of the valve here that you can see is there's the black felt ring at the top of the valve cap and then just below that there's a little brown felt pad. We want to be very careful to keep those pads dry throughout this process and just in general because if they are constantly getting wet and then dry they will deteriorate rather rapidly. And over the course of several years, you may want to replace those pads anyway, but if we keep them dry, they'll, they'll last us much, much longer. Next, I will take the trumpet and all of the parts and put them inside of the tub. And I will fill that tub just up to the top of the trumpet with the lemon juice. If you want to, you can dilute the lemon juice a little bit so you don't have to buy quite as many bottles, but you can either do 100% lemon juice or you can dilute it maybe one to one. That's up to you. After you leave it sit for about an hour or two, then you can begin using that snake and working that snake through all of the tubing on the trumpet, working through all of that dirt and grime, getting it all loose. I then recommend letting it sit for another hour and then coming back and doing the same thing with the snake, working it through all of the slides 
and all of the tubing to make sure you get every little last bit of dirt and grime out of there. After we are done using the snake for the second time and cleaning out all of the tubing on the trumpet, we'll then take the trumpet and all of the parts out of the lemon solution, drain the solution out of the tub, and then put the trumpet and all of the parts, minus the valves, back into the tub. This time we'll add dish soap, and this will help clear out all of the lemon juice from the instrument. And we'll fill that tub again with water this time, and let that soak maybe for an hour, and you can take the snake through if you want to and clean out the tubes a little bit. So after the trumpet is done soaking in the water and dish soap, you can take it out and begin using your silver polish. And of course, follow the directions that are indicated on that polish. Here, what I've done is put all the slides back in, not the valves, but I put all the slides back in so that I can polish all of the silver portions of the trumpet. Once your polishing is done and you have rinsed the trumpet both inside and out, you can begin drying the trumpet. So you take a cloth and dry the outside of the trumpet. And then to clean the inside of the valves, you can take your lint-free cloth and pull it through the loop at the top of your cleaning rod. And then you wrap that cloth around and then you can push it through the bottom of the valve casing and then through the top of the valve casing. That'll get it nice and dry. Next, you move over to greasing the slides. And here's just some slide grease that I'll use on the main tuning slide. On the first and third valve slides, I like to use rotor oil, French horn rotor oil. That helps them move nice and quick. And sometimes I add a little drop of valve oil to thin that out even more so they move even more quickly. Here's the third valve slide that I'm oiling. Now I'll move over to the valves, and after soaking the valves, you will then want to just rinse them off with water, dry them off, and you can begin oiling them. And put a few drops on, work it into the valve casing, and you may realize that you need to use a little bit more just so that valve casing is completely covered with oil. And lastly here, I am using a mouthpiece brush on my mouthpiece. You can work it through the bottom of the mouthpiece and through the top just to clean that out. So have fun cleaning your trumpet and giving it a tune-up, and your house will smell lemony fresh for the rest of the day.